Good morning, boys and girls. Today is December 16th, 2020, and it is a Wednesday, so that means it will be an asynchronous learning day, which means you will be working on your own. So I'm going to go over uh, what you need to do today. Uh, when you log into Schoology, you can see right over here on the right side uh, the list of things that are due today. So the first thing is the connect who is to blame for burning the Amazon. Then you got the close reading questions. And finally, the student journal for Brazil today. So you can get through it, it uh, get to these things from here, or you can go into your South America folder. I'm going to go through the South America folder so everyone understands how to get there. Brazil today. And there we go. Who is to blame for the burning uh, for the burning Amazon? All right. So you'll start here. You'll click on that. Uh, and what you're going to see here is a short video with some questions uh, built into it through Edipuzzle. And so you'll watch the video. The video, I think, is about four minutes, uh, three minutes and 53 seconds. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven questions or comments that go along with that. OK. So you'll complete that, uh, and that's the first thing that you do. Should take you maybe 10 minutes. Let's go back to today. From there, you're going to go into the Learn folder. Uh, as always, we're going to open the online textbook. We're going to do some preview, and then we're going to read the section. Okay. After we read the section, we're going to answer the close reading questions, and then we're going to complete the student journal. Let's click on Learn. Uh, open up our textbook here. When you open up the textbook, you're going to go to chapter seven and that's going to be section three so chapter seven brazil section three brazil today online student edition today open in a new window and once that loads you're ready to read and to do your preview so we'll give that a moment here to load for us all right there there you go brazil today You're going to be learning about the culture. Let's see what's on the next page. More about the culture. Carnival. If you remember, we, we were, were, were watching the movie Rio, and a carnival is happening at that time in the movie. So we'll be, we'll be able to make the connection there. Environmental issues, uh, as the video that you started with, the burning of the Amazon, this will connect to that as well. And so uh, that should be familiar. You'll be reading about Curitiba, which is a city that has done a really good job of dealing with some of the environmental problems. And so make sure that you read a closer look here. Uh, this is going to be really interesting and give you some ideas on ways that uh, cities can continue to grow, but to do it in an environmentally positive way. Uh, you'll be learning about the economy, which, uh, as you know, they, they export a ton of crops. Things like coffee and sugarcane are very important to their economy. So you'll be learning some more about that. From there, you're going to learn a little bit about the government. Um, and then that will be the end of the section. So make sure that you read carefully and uh, keep this book open so that you can go back uh, and you can reread the sections that you need to as you complete your closed reading questions. You open up the closed reading questions. You'll have those open as you um, as you work through those. You're going to use the textbook, review the textbook. Remember, each of the sections are tied to the textbook. So average culture is the first set of questions. You're matching the questions on the left with the answers down below. Uh, environmental issues, once again, matching up the questions with the answers down below, a growing economy, you're just matching, and then finally, government for the people also matching, okay? So make sure you keep that textbook open so that you can come back and take a look at those, those sections if you have any questions, all right? Okay, so when you're done with that, uh, you have uh, done all the work that is necessary to complete the student journal. So we'll go back and we'll take a look at uh, the student journal back into the Learn folder. And let's see what the student student journal has in store. So open that with Cami. All right, as is usual, the first section of the student journal will deal with our vocabulary words. So uh, you'll be using vocabulary to answer the questions here. Some quiz show asks a question and expects the contestant to give an answer. In other shows, the contestant is given an answer and must apply the question. 
if the blank is in the question column, write the question that would be the result in the answer given. If the question is supplied, write the appropriate answer. So uh, here you have a question, you need to write an answer. Here you're given an answer, so you have to write a question that the answer would be ethanol. All right. Here you're given a question, so you have to write the answer. And here you're given the answer, so you have to write the question that would result in an answer of social services. This should be pretty easy because uh, we've been doing this for a while when it comes to our classmate quizzes. So uh, think of it in that way. Come up with a question that uh, the answer uh, is over here on the right. Okay, so that's the first part. Second part, uh, we're taking notes. Again, we're working on the summarizations. Okay, use what you have read about Brazil today to complete the table below. And under each heading, write at least two important ideas or details that sum up what the subsection is about. So uh, in a rich, rich culture, what are two main ideas that would summarize what a rich culture, the section is all about? Same thing for environmental issues. What are two main ideas that you could write down that would summarize what the section is about? Remember to capitalize the beginning of your sentences. Remember to punctuate the end of your sentences. Remember to proofread your sentences. Uh, so that they make sense. Uh, you want to make sure that you turn in your best work uh, and that the sentences are clear and, and they make sense. And make sure that they're, they're not details, right? We're looking for main ideas here. So the big ideas, what the section is, is, is really about, the, the most Im important things, okay? And then lastly, uh, the essential question, uh, see if you can practice using race here. It doesn't have to be perfectly race, but see if you can expand and, and, and fill up these three sentences. What is the debate in Brazil over how to use the country's oil wealth? Uh, and so uh, that sounds like a, a question that uh, maybe deals with the economy. So if I was going to, um, if I was going to um, answer this question, I might start looking in the economy section. If I can't find anything there, then I would move on to another section. But uh, I think maybe starting with economy, possibly environment, okay? So um, you may want to look back at those. All right, uh, so that is the assignment for today. Um, I'm going to go back to today. And so we're going to complete the who is to blame for the burning Amazon video. And then we're going to jump into the learn folder. We're going to read the section, answer the close reading questions, and complete the student journal. When you're done with that, you're done for the day. Um, just make sure that you have all of your missing assignments also turned in. The last day to turn in any missing assignments will be Friday. All right. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to email me or to send me a notification through Schoology. Uh, and if I don't hear from you, then I will see you either tomorrow or Friday. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye now.